Welcome to the Windows Club. If you wish to know how to shut down, restart, sleep, hibernate, sign out, lock Windows 11, then either read through this article on the Windows Club or simply watch this video, I'll guide you through the procedures. The first one is through the start menu. Click on the start button and you would find this option for power right here. Click on it and it would display the alternate options like shut down, sleep, restart, etc. Then you can use the Winx menu or more often known as the right click start menu. Simply right click on it and the second option would be shut down or sign out. Click on the forward pointing arrow and more options populate here. The next method is using the desktop shortcut. We have a separate article for this. Let's say you need to create a shortcut for shutting down your system. Simply copy this code. Go to the desktop screen. Right click and select new shortcut in the location paste this entry and click on next and then click on finish if you wish to create a keyboard shortcut for this like press a single button and then shut down although there are already buttons for this right click on it and select properties go to the shortcut tab and then change the shortcut key here the next procedure is using the command prompt or run window Press the Windows key and the R button together to open the run window. Type the command shut down space forward slash space forward slash S and hit enter to shut down your system. Similarly to restart it simply change the last letter to R and there are more cords as well. If you wish to use PowerShell, search for PowerShell in the Windows search bar and open the Windows PowerShell application. The command lines for the same would be stop computer and restart computer to shut it down or restart it. After this you can use inbuilt shortcuts like ALT plus F4. I won't press it or else it would lead to a different screen but it would look something like this. From the pop-up menu you can choose the options to switch user, sign out, sleep, shut down and restart. Then you can also use the lock screen and all you need to do to reach the lock screen is press Ctrl, ALT and delete together. You'll find all the options in the right menu here. Then you can also use Cortana for speech or you can simply press the power button. In some systems you'll also get the option in the system tray but this is not always present. Isn't this easy and interesting? If you have any doubts, please go to the original article on the Windows Club Scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.